<laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, we are One Night Stand, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be doing some improv for you. Where is our inspiration coming from? It's coming from a wonderful person that I reached out to that is going to be coming out. Yeah, he's, he's right there. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for local DJ and stand-up comedian, So here's what you need to know. Only thing you need to know about this uh, is that uh, Ryan Drake's going to be telling uh, a story. If we have time, he'll tell a second story. But we have no idea what story he's going to tell. It will inspire the scenes that we are going to perform. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Ryan Drake. Okay. So I checked. I checked with them. None of them have heard the story. Um, I have told the story a bunch of times, but they haven't heard this. And so here we go. This is the story of the worst night of my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> April, April, no, it's not tonight, it's April 2012, uh, I was at a festival, I was doing a lot of stand-up comedy back then, I was at a festival called Norman Music Festival, it's in Norman, it happens every year, it's a shocker. Um, it, was, it was a good time, I was doing comedy, and I got very, very, very drunk, too drunk, incredibly drunk. <laughs> and uh, it was at the end of the night, I did comedy, it was really good, I thought uh, kind of as a fun thing, I would make a t-shirt, because I knew it was going to be surrounded with a lot of people. So I thought, I'm gonna make a t-shirt and put my Twitter name on it. This is 2011, Twitter was still cool, it wasn't a dumpster fire yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I made a t-shirt and put my, my Twitter name on it to like go be around all these people. I thought it could be a fun way to get followers. Uh, and I went and did comedy, it was good. I got too drunk after the show, went to an after party, and at some point in this after party, I was playing football <laughs> for some reason. Uh, Cause look at me, why wouldn't I? Um, <laughs> and I ripped a hole in my jeans, like right here, like in the cross, oh. so, so balls are just kind of hanging out. Oh. Um, I'm drunk, I'm very drunk. But I was like, I can't stay at this party, I'm too drunk, I should drive home, that's what I should do. Oh. I should get my home, oh. and drive home. No. What could go wrong? Exactly, thank you. Balls are out, I'm right. Right. let's get behind the wheel of the car. <laughs> Uh, so I'm driving, everything's fine, except, except, for, the, the, except for what's happening over here, it's not fine. Um, so I'm driving, everything's fine, and then all of a sudden I see lights behind me. <laughs> and I learned that night uh, that the only place worse than a party to just have your balls hanging out is jail. Jail's a way worse place. Because I went to jail. Uh, there, I remember the cop was there, and it was a lady cop, and I was drunk, and she was kind of cute, so that made it weirder. Um, and if you, if, you, if you Google me, I've done a lot of cool things, I feel like, in my life. But if you Google me, the very first thing that pops up <laughs> is a police report. <laughs> and if you pull up the report, you can read it, and there's a fun little dialogue in the report between the cop and I that I don't remember happening. Um, oh. I'm just going to kind of narrate some of that report back to you. Um, for this next segment, my name will be Suspect. <laughs> Her name will be Officer. It was like, Officer, sir, do you know why I pulled you over? Suspect. Do you know why I pulled you over? <laughs> and then it just goes, uh, uh, it just goes, uh, Officer, sir, have you been drinking tonight? And then it just goes, Suspect, in parentheses, they just wrote, Vomits. <laughs> And my stuff's still hanging out, and I'm vomiting on myself now. And she's like really checking out. It's a real sad scene. She's really checking out on me. She's like, "What? What are you doing? What's wrong with you?" And in hindsight, I really appreciate that she took that with me. Um, I told her like, "I'm a comedian. I was doing comedy at the festival. Obviously, things didn't turn out the way I would have liked." And here we are. And she said the worst thing you could have ever said to me in that moment. She said, "Oh, you're a comedian? Tell me a joke." <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> in my head, in my head, I used to tell a real shitty joke. I was telling Ken earlier, 20, 2013 was a different time. I used to say dumb shit that I would never say in 2018. <laughs> At that time, I had a joke in my set that was a real simple one-liner. I was like, I'm just going to say it and get it out there. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> the joke was, I bet Michael J. Fox gives really good hand jobs. That was the joke. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. I know. In my, in my drunk mind, I just I fucked I fucked the joke up in my mind. And what I actually said to her was, "Hey, I bet Jeff Foxworthy is really good at it." <laughs> Straight to jail. That's the story. You heard. <laughs> it's gonna be all over Twitter. 
It's going to be all over the Twitter. It's all over the Twitter now. Uh, all over your shirt. Of it's course. all over the Twitter. Of course it is. It's all over the Twitter. Of course it is. Ah, uh, hashtag crunk AF. Crunk, crunk, crunk. Yes. Hashtag. You crunked everybody dead. I was. I, 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 I am the true crunker. And I have the power to crunk those alive. And I have the power to crunk those to death. I don't know if you've heard, but the power of life and death is in the tongue. You're a crunk god. Of course I am a crunk god. We are crunk angels. Please. Oh, look at you crunk angels. We are crunk angels. Bestow the crunk upon us. No. <laughs> Bestow the crunk upon you? Please. Hashtag blast. Can you? <laughs> Please make me lose my mind. I don't know, hashtag. Do you think I shall entrust the crunk upon them? Hashtag too stressed to be blessed. Oh. <laughs> too stressed to be blessed. Hashtag too drunk to be blessed. All right. All right, I shall crunk you. Crunk him. I might be Sir Crunkaholic. I thought there'd be more to it than that. Oh, no, there's not more to it than that. Sorry. Oh. Hashtag almost there. Almost yes. there. Welcome to okay, no. wait a second, sir. Wait a second, sir. you got to go through this machine, and you've got to stand like this. Oh, it's the crunk Before arena. you get on the plane, all right. you've got to stand like that. I'm ready to stand Oh, wait. Like this. First of all, everything out of your pockets. Everything is out of my pocket. And your back pockets, too? Right, in my, in my back pockets, too. The only oh. thing I got is crunk. Okay. I got crunk in my pocket. But yeah. the other one is holding a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> the crunk detector is going off the scale. Okay, I will push the blue back because... You are male. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. All right. Uh huh. Um, it seems you alarmed in your um throat area, so you have to get a pat down in the in the throat area. Okay. In the throat area. Okay. Uh, Vicky, time for your break. Raymond, pat him down. Okay, Raymond. <laughs> That's right, Raymond. They said there's something in my throat area. What do you think it is, Raymond? What you think it is? Raymond, could you give me a nice high C, please? Oh! <laughs> I'll try to match the pitch that you're at! It's magic in your throat. <laughs> Does that allow me to fly the friendly skies or no? All right. So, what I'm... Have you told everybody what we're going to do? Um, yes. Okay. Um, so, I, I told everybody what we were going to do. We're going to play foosball. foosball. Nobody will believe it. Nobody. Okay. Let me tell you what. Foosball is the news ball. Foosball. Is that your hashtag? Hashtag news ball. News ball. News ball. Oh, you're so funny. You're so funny. Oh, 
I could have swore they cut their budget, but I guess they got it. Hold up. Can you hand the phone to Byron, please? Yeah, yeah, sorry. We're just in the airport line. Here, let me. Here, Byron. Oh, uh. Who the hell you got TSA in up on you, Byron? Uh, That's uh, who I'm trying to figure out. Nobody. That, that was uh, that was just uh, that was just Jeff, Je uh, co college buddy of mine. Uh, oh, a college buddy. Of yeah, I know. Wait, 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 wait. TSA got an alarm on you. Um, you have any po anything in your pockets, man? Uh, anything uh, in your back yeah. pockets? Yep, I have lots of things in my pocket. Okay, then. Just I'll take them all out. I'll take them all out. All right. Then you're going to get a pat down. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be down yeah. the buttock there. She's good. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. She's good. Hold on, Byron. Uh, did you hand the phone to the lady that was just pat down? Is she getting a pat down? Oh, just, she just got pat down? Uh, she got pat down. But not for me. Not for me. It was, there was like a random TSA agent. I did Everybody, not touch on. her. Okay. Uh, Are you going to do another pat down? She, she's not. Wait, wait, wait. Did she alarm when you tested her hands? Did she alarm? Yeah, and there's that. Okay, ma'am, I'm so sorry about this. But I'm going to have to do a pat down, and the breast area is going to be a, a swooping motion like this, down in the groin area. <laughs> I, I was not doing the swooping motions, honey. Down the buttocks area, inside of your heart, and inside of your thigh, up to the recipient. Yep, I don't need to get on this plane. Wait, okay. wait, wait! Here's my phone. <laughs> Hold up. Am I... Linda, break. Am I wrong or am I right? But is that TSA agent a little handsy right now? She is super handsy. I took my phone back. It's oh. a little aggressive. I'm calling on my phone. Oh. Good thing it's <laughs> Damn, Byron! You got to let me know when you're calling me on the other phone. There was a lot going on. Sorry. That's all right. That's all right. But uh, you know, it, it, it's all you. It's not. It's not like I was trying to get attention from other people. It just happens that. Mm -hmm. It's all me. It's all you. It's all me. It's all you, baby. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag. Why are you lying? <laughs> I'm gonna to have to go through like three. Oh, it's like Castile smashing pumpkins or whatever it is. It smashes stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gallagher. Oh, yeah. 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 He's still yeah. smashing yeah. stuff at festivals. That's yeah. still crazy. You yeah. see last week? He smashed a pumpkin pie. Nice. Wow. How seasonal. So perfectly timed. <laughs> yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. I'm looking forward to laughing again. Yeah. That this is not a comedy show. I'm being arrested right now. My big toe is just completely exposed right yeah, there. You should just throw that away. Oh, okay. Or you can, yep. That's definitely the best solution to this problem. Cover it. Yeah. Don't need your judgment. That's fine. I'm just, you're a little slow. I'm going to get in front of you in line. But, but, that, God, but that's my, that's my shoes and my laptop. The, somebody's going to be getting all handsy. I put my wallet. I put my wallet in my shoe. I probably shouldn't have said that out loud. You really should. Nobody <laughs> take the wallet in the brown loafers. I'm going through. <laughs> Sir, you want to go through the machine, you have to put both feet down. Both the, feet have to go on the ground. Not doing it. Belt 
belt off, jacket off, feet on the ground. <laughs> what the? Thanks for the wallet, man! Oh god, ah! I feel so naked. You have to go through, just make so it through. Exposed. Okay! Do I push the pink button or the blue button? Pink, please. Pink! Wow! You alarmed in the breast area, so I have to give a female officer to a, you know, do you, anyway, you need to go over there. Who called for a female officer? He <laughs> wandered in the breast area. Excuse me, I, your... I saw him first. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> I, 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 I saw him first. Oh, I love it. Arms a little higher. Okay. Yeah, well, arms a little higher. Okay. okay. He's alarming me. Okay. <laughs> T-S-O-K. <laughs> Hashtag, I saw him first. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why I asked you today? Yeah, it's about my smoking. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. I really need you to, to stop with it, Richard. Listen, yeah. Richard. I don't need the Santa sisters coming at me all hard, okay? Hey, hey, you're talking a little fast, so I'm not getting on this. I don't hey. need the Santa sisters coming at me all hard. Okay? Hey, honey, I thought you were my sister. Trying to help me with my drinking problem. We, we gotta help Richard with the smoking first, all right? You what? Know, I don't care about your liver, I care about his lungs. <laughs> hey, spoken like a true truth ad right now. All right, what about my lungs are you concerned about? <gasps> you are gonna end up like Gerald, if you don't. Ger Gerald is my mentor. <gasps> <laughs> do, you want to know, do you want to know how I pay my mentor? How? In cigarettes. <laughs> Wait! Everything is okay in AA and NA because they do stuff with drug addicts and alcoholics and everything. And, well, they do let you smoke in AA, so I don't know. <laughs> So, um, I don't know how to jail. <laughs> okay. Let me give you a pointer here, okay? Got my sewing kit. Don't ask how he snuck it oh. in. Get that situation fixed. ASAP. Ow, oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, no. Do not show your junk on the yard, man. You could have given me a thimble. get shanked with a shiv. You could have given me a thimble. <laughs> I couldn't get the thimble back out. You don't want to know where it went. You are my mentor. Are you? What's going on in here, gentlemen? Nothing. Nothing, nothing to see nothing, here. Nothing, nothing to nothing see to here. See. What you got? Let me see those hands. Hold them out. Damn it. <laughs> I gave it to him. It's mine. It's my junk. Man, I was, I'm, I'm, Again? I'm, I'm high on the crack. You don't have to take the fall for me. Again, with the sewing kit. I keistered it. I know that word. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I read that. They I know why. That, that you're the deal. They know I, I, I they, they know it's me. They know it's me. All right. I've been you know dueling what? in craft supplies for the last 30 years. I really need this button sewn back on. So if you could just take care of that. Fell off my so laser. That's, so that's how it works. That's a cool, yeah. cool quote. See you later. Whoa, you are a master at this. I heard a buzzing. Is it like a phone ring? It, it's, a, it's actually it's a singer. Oh, okay. You don't want to know where it is. No, you I can't get it back out. <laughs> so you you have like a deal with the, do you call them the screws? The right. Guards? Right. Yes. Ooh. We we did for quite a while. Okay. That went out of phase in about the 1940s. <laughs> and I'm going to start this conversation with I don't know how to jail. You just have to have some sort of talent, something you can do for the other people that'll keep. Them. I can, I can whistle. <laughs> oh, I am. Oh, I am here scared. for the. Wait, I am here for the. She's heard my whistle. Yes, I, I did. <laughs> it worked. My whistle worked. Yes. Yes, we heard you. We both heard you. You uh, need us both. <coughs> that is. I'd like to welcome you all to the Jail Music Festival. Oh, wow. Please.
hate it. I hate it that you are so much prettier and so much taller and attractive than I am. Stop. Oh, you are an absolute lie. I am not that tall. <laughs> you have the best lips and the best eyes, and I am always like striving. And, mm. Oh, that is a lie. You are not striving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I'm better looking and shorter than you are, and much more flexible. You what? What? You are. You are what? Um, that um, looking and <laughs> What did you just say? What did Santa just say? I, 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 I like to wear my heart on my sleeve, but I'm thinking that that might have been a bad idea, heart. Oh, I'm your heart. Oh. Yes. Look who just came to the game. <laughs> <laughs> I have got to tell you, Sarah, I had the cutest drunk that I pulled over last night. What? Even cuter than my totally wasted last week? Oh. Not cuter. We get married tomorrow. <laughs> He's still the drunk tank, but I'm gonna let him out soon. <laughs> you can put it down, sweetheart. Susan, you're getting married? Yes. Oh my gosh. And I have something to ask you. Okay. What? is a rest. I'm ah! so like... Ah! Ah! Police buzz! Oh my, oh my gosh, right? Man, oh. I can't, I bet, man, he's going to be great to talk about on the beat. <coughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Just look at him. What's his name? Oh, it's Richard Marxophone. I'm going to call him Marxophone. So glad. Okay, I'm sorry, but is my uh, is my arrest uh, feeling up your man? <laughs> I